I see a line right here. You lead it. No, no, no. Right, right down here, Hogan. Look. Check it out. Couple, couple almost hop turns. Couple turns right here. Right over there. You got this, bud. Pull plant. There you go. There you go. Link it up. We don't just go right to the steeps and expect to be able to do them. For starters, you have to be able to ski a steep pitch with short radius turns. You need that level of skillfulness. So that means you get on the steep groomer, you make short radius turns with the same speed from the top to the bottom, with the same turn radius from the top to the bottom, with the same tempo from the top to the bottom. You have that much control. You're not letting your speed get away from you. So I get a lot of requests from you all about skiing the steeps. I love it. Now here's the thing. We're not gonna go up into the steeps to learn how to ski steeps. We need to cultivate our skills first before getting into the steeps so that we can be successful when we get there. We're going to start with the basic side slip, okay? We need to be able to side slip down the fall line, maintaining our corridor, not squirting forward, not squirting backwards. That's showing some control. Look at how I'm adjusting and steering just with my lower body, completely independent of my upper body. My toes get below, or my heels get below my feet. I am maintaining the corridor the whole time through my subtle adjustments. I'm not squirting forward and side slipping. I'm not squirting backwards and side slipping. I'm making the subtle steering adjustments I need to maintain the corridor. Okay, so why do we care? Because you want to get into the steeps. And a good friend of mine, Ron Kipp, did a presentation talking about skillfulness. The more skillful we are, the more we're able to separate body parts, the in ha inside half of our body from the outside half of our body our lower body from our upper body. That's separation. Think about the lower level beginner skier. They operate in one big block from head down to toe. That video you just now saw, my toes were working completely independent of my upper body. My toes and my foot. That's skillfulness. Let's do a little more. Maintain the corridor with your side slip. Okay, now I'm gonna do some falling leaps. Look at my upper body, independent of the action and steering of my lower body. Then we can move into some short radius turns. You have to be able to Ski short radius turns with shape and maintaining the same speed the whole time if you want to get into those steeps. Let's go back up. You gotta earn it. That's where the reward comes from. Feels good. Okay, so let's say you were talking to some folks who've never skied steeps before. Ah. What, what are some things that are important to know about skiing steeps? If you fall, Always get your feet below you. Wow. That's a good one, Hogan. It's true. Thank you. What's another good one? Pole plants help. Pole plants help. That's a fundamental, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I'd say more than pole plants help. I'd say pole plants are a necessity. Like, you got to have a pole plant. Okay, what else? Um... Never, um, I don't know. Don't know? Yeah. Can, can you, can you straight line a, a steep? No. How come? You're most likely to catch a tip on a tree and fall and roll and die. 
Huh. In other words, turning is kind of important, isn't it? Yeah. Here's the thing that I liked about that, Liesel. You skied it fast, but not too fast. You skied it fast and athletically, but you were in control. You finished your turns, you had turn shape, total control, pole plants, your legs were turning more than your upper body, and you just took it to the fall line. Such command, okay? Let's okay. see more of that. That's what you take into the steeps.